Earlier this month, we surprised our 13th KPRC2 Senior Scholarship recipient after meeting her. We knew we just had to bring her in to this show. Athetia Singapan, a student senior at DeBakey High School, <laughs> is here with us. So you might remember her from the Senior Scholarship, but welcome back, because you do a whole lot, and we just wanted to share you with the audience. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. Graduation's coming up. Yes, I am so excited to graduate. I have had a great time at DeBakey, and I want to shout out everyone at, De to everyone at DeBakey House School. Right there, this camera okay. right here, number one, go ahead. Okay, shout out to all my teachers at DeBakey, the principal, my amazing school counselors, and my school coaches and my classmates. You guys know who you guys are. <laughs> That's great. Now, you've, uh, you're going to UT. Yes, I right? am going to UT Austin. And did we know that at the time when we gave you the scholarship? You weren't sure um, then, right? I think I wasn't sure yet, but okay. I am committed to UT Austin. So go Longhorns, All right. and I will be studying public health there. So what put you over the top? What made you finally decide on UT? Well, I just thought that there were so many opportunities there, and I was also accepted into the Polymathic Scholars Program, where you can actually create your own major. So I want to study public health, but I also want to combine some humanity studies, because I just love science and the humanities. Yeah, you do love science, too. We found that uh, you make these educational music parodies, right? They're, so they're, they're videos. We want to play a little clip for reference for the audience, then I want to hear a little more about how you create these. Sure. Go ahead. Show y'all how to get dressed for a lab I'm gonna make sure y'all don't get So this is an Old Town Road parody, right? Yep. And what's, what are, what's the topic here? So this is about lab safety, and I created it with my sisters on how you can stay safe in the lab and some uh, precautions to take. <laughs> Listen to the words. This is great. It could save your life. Uh-huh, fire safety? Okay, look at you. No crop top shorts. That was a long time ago. <laughs> yes. So, are you still making videos like this? Yeah, I still do. Yeah. I really love science so much because it's just a way for us all to better understand the world around us better. And I think that students find science to be challenging sometimes. So, um, I always invite my classmates to create these videos for projects so that, you know, we can add a fun twist to science. Yeah. But science is also a means to change lives. It's not just a way for us to better understand the world. And I've experienced that because I have a thyroid condition called Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And I have experienced firsthand how the science of medicine can change your life. Mm -hmm. and, and with that, um, you created Immunitines. Is that part of the inspiration oh. for Immunitines? Yes. So what is that? I've always been uh, scared to talk about my journey with an autoimmune illness because there are not a lot of people I can relate to. But I started Immunitines to share my story and hopefully inspire other adolescents around me to do the same. So if you want to follow Immunitines, you can do that on Instagram. Okay, so what's the benefit then? You, you, you look for other teenagers who are experiencing something similar to you, and what does it do? It gives them a place to, to gather, yeah. to talk, to help each other? How yeah. so? Yeah, it gives us a place to connect with each other and to share our stories. Because when we share our stories, we can inspire other people to do the same, and I think that's something so beautiful. That is. Speaking of sharing stories, she brought a book with her today. Oh, yes. This is your first published book, Rocks and Stinky Socks. Yes. Uh, who is this written for? What, what age group and what's it about? So, this book is a children's book, but I think that the lesson of the story applies to anyone of any age. Okay. So, my book shares with children and adults how you can overcome your life obstacles by embracing community and your individual uniqueness. So the main character of the story is a broccoli who has a really stinky socks. And his socks are stinky because life has just thrown so many obstacles at him. But he meets a group of animal friends whom he comes to really value, even though they're not the same vegetable species as him. <laughs> and they learn to help Brock overcome his life obstacles and navigate his um, individuality. Interesting. I, I feel like you're the kind of person who likes to put other people first. Am I right about that or close? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you seem like you, you're, you're trying to help. Yeah, so... People you don't even know through books, through Instagram. Oh, yeah. Well, I do like donating copies of my book to local children's hospitals in hopes that I can inspire other children who are battling illness like me. Yeah. And, yeah, I like giving copies to my neighbors and to my teachers. And I understand you've donated books to all 50 states? I have, yes. How did that come about? So, you know, 
Sometimes I feel like the postal office comes really in handy because you can reach a lot of people in just you know a short amount of time. So I um, use that to my advantage, and I you know hope that my book ends in the hands of children and that they really love it. <laughs> and if somebody wants to buy it, where can they get it? Oh, sure. So you can buy my book at Walmart, Target, Barnes and Nobles, and a lot of other stores um, internationally, actually. That's great. We, thanks for coming in and hanging out with us today. I, I know we covered a lot and hopefully it wasn't overwhelming for you, but we just thought you were a fantastic scholarship recipient and we wanted to bring you back. So we wish you the best of luck at UT and please someday come back and visit with us again. Okay. When you do the next book, how about it? Okay. All I right. Athetia Singapan, thank you again.